Yo, <clears throat> welcome to this video. It's a 15 minute game. Don't um, feel like rushing too much, so let's go for a 15 minute time control. And um, E4 played against Ice 2010. I don't think I played him before. No, he's taking his time. Okay, yeah, well. <coughs> yeah, I play bishop b5 normally here. This is a line that, of course, nowadays has um, accumulated quite a bit of uh, theory, but it's um, a line that is playable without um, so many concrete. Um, lines that you you need to know by heart so um i can play it even as a non e4 player and uh, not risk to to be much worse uh, it can happen of course but it's not like like um i don't know there's a sicilian night off where you <laughs> need to know everything um by heart mm, bishop e3 <clears throat> Probably I need to go h3 at some point. But um, right now I think knight g4 I can really take. Yeah, I think I can take on c5. <clears throat> Queen d2 now, he will play knight g4, so let's prevent that. What I'd like to do here is to get rid of the bishops. So um, exchange with queen d2, bishop h6, and then maybe move the knight and play f4 later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe he wants to go c4. But c4, I always can answer with d4, and I have a nice center. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. The question is, hmm, how do I continue now? I can even... Um, yeah, the, the, the problem is, I can go d4, or I can take first. Is it, um, is it um, an idea to play a uh, form? For long castle and h4 h5. Hmm. Ah, probably not. Let's um, keep it simple. This is um, a nice center. I can just go short castle and uh, centralize my pieces. It's not easy for black to get any substantial um, counterplay here. He could try the very direct b5 now, b5, b4, attacking the knight and... Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, e5, I can, I can just take. And d5 isn't even a problem anyway, even if you would uh, would take. Yeah, I can just, that's just, that's just castle here. And not um, spend too much time on easy moves. e5 is even, uh, technically it's possible. Oh, this one. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Rook, rook d1. Or d5. Hmm. Yeah, cannot really take now. 
Queen takes with the check, knight f6, e5 is a terrible position for black. I'm not sure what he's supposed to do now. Queen c7 or something. Queen c8. Queen c7, that's probably knight d5. That's very annoying. And um, queen c8. Yeah, maybe queen c8. Hmm, yeah. Check. I didn't think this was playable. I mean, it's not um, losing <clears throat> material immediately. Or maybe, maybe, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I was thinking e5, which is, which is good, okay, but maybe a queen e5 is, um, is even better. Queen e5. Queen e8, knight d5. This, uh, oh, this, is, this is terrible. Queen e5, queen b8. Hmm. Takes e7, rook e8. <clears throat> uh, I have queen a3, queen a3. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's not invest much more time. Queen Queen b8, queen e7, rook e8, queen a3, attacking the bishop, bishop b7, and then what? Uh, maybe e5. <coughs> I'm not sure if this is so clear. Queen e8, knight d5 is, is basically uh, a winning position, I think. I don't think I don't see a move really. The alternative, simple and good, was e5. Okay, now knight d5. Yeah, knight c7 is a threat. Knight e7 is a threat. And um, there's probably even g4, g4, g5, and pin and win the knight. The problem is he doesn't have uh, anywhere to go. Let's say he plays, uh, I don't know, rook c8, for instance. If I go g4, how does he prevent g5? I guess he doesn't. There's no, no way to do that. h6, h4. I'm playing g5 next, winning the knight. He goes king g8, I go knight e7 with check and then g5. So rook c8, I go g4 and win. This is an important uh, motif. I, I once, years ago, almost 20 years ago, lost against this motif with g4. I was, uh, I remember that I was uh, very uh, surprised back then. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, g4 is uh, is working uh, is working anyway. But I also and there's knight d4. It's also also not uh, exactly bad. Is he threatening something? Yeah, probably not. Just. Go ahead with g4, g5. Yes, it, I had I had this um, played against me about 20 years ago, and I was totally shocked about g4. It was, of course, a slightly different position, but I was in this um, diagonal, king on g7, queen on somewhere, I don't know where on the diagonal, and then, then g4, and I couldn't do anything against g5 and lost the piece. And I didn't consider g4 because it was 
so loose on the king's side, but um, it's it's just working in this position. Black's got uh, no way out of this. I don't uh, don't see one at least. Here also knight c7 was picking up material, but this is um, the the clearest way. Yeah, I'm winning. Um, it's not only the knight; it's uh, the whole position um, is uh, breaking down. Black resigns. Yeah, that is an important idea. This g4, g5, in um, in those uh, pinning situations. I think what. Um, oh no, he's moving a couple. Yeah, he. He doesn't. Uh, he shouldn't take on d4, but um, not. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, b5, b5, a3 is, um, is, is simple, simple and good. And um, yeah, white is dominating in the center. He is making <laughs> some moves as well, so cannot really do this quick, uh, quick analysis. It's um, clear that black has a problem to um, has a problem to um, to fight against the center. It's um, simply bad bad pieces. Yeah, interesting. Well, maybe e5. Yeah, we're doing quite a. Few. He's moving some some pieces as well. Um, I think what what Black must avoid is the C4 move that uh, freezes uh, the structure too much and um, gives White um, a dominance in the center. Here he will uh, always suffer from the bad B7 bishop, and White probably has some attacking chances on the on the on the king even. This looks um, nice for White. Yeah. Thanks for watching.